Hey, welcome back to the channel. How the devil are you? So, uh, recently, um, someone I know quite well uh, received a phone call off their internet provider saying their account had been hacked and they needed to log into their account and etc, etc. And to cut a long story short, they were scammers and they managed to get away with a thousand pounds from their account. Now, thankfully, they managed to contact the bank, realized that what had happened, they managed to contact the bank in time and the bank was able to stop uh, the transaction going forward and they got their money back. But that's not always the case. And also the problem is, is that when this happens to you, you feel like a blinking idiot. You feel like, how can I be so stupid? You give yourself such a hard time, you feel so guilty. There's a knot in your stomach, you can't believe you've done this. Why would you be so stupid? But look, don't be so hard on yourselves if it's happened to you. I've almost done it. I've got an email from a delivery company recently and I, and I clicked on the link, it said your parcel needs to be rescheduled. And obviously we're getting lots of deliveries now near Christmas, aren't we? So I clicked on the link, didn't I? <laughs> and I went, but wait, what am I doing? And I quickly deleted the link, off it went, okay? I was like, what am I doing yet? Stop! Ow. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Don't be a fool. So I've almost been caught out and the scammers are really good at, at getting a sense of urgency. They're getting very clever now um, and they what they do, they create a panic in you. So you go, huh, you, if you don't act now, Mr. Richards, uh, you could get your, your, your account could be hacked, your internet could go down, you won't have any internet for Christmas, so we need to act now within the next 24 hours, blah, 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 blah. So they, they, they panic you and that panic is what, what is, makes it easier for them for you to believe what they're saying. So I just want to go over a few things today uh, emails and phishing really I want to talk about and text you're gonna get and I've show you I want to show you some of the emails I've got and to show you how you can spot a phishing email so here's the first email I've got for you so this one's an Amazon uh, from a, a supposedly from Amazon <laughs> yeah whatever and uh, so it says genuinely confer order confirmed genuine number da 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 so just look at this, look at the email address here. That's not from Amazon. So the first thing you always need to do is check this email address here and where it's coming from. Secondly, um, you'll find that it really says your name. So it'll say just your, e so it does say two, and my, I've taken my email address out for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't want to give the scammers, you know, <laughs> some extra ammunition. So here it'll say my email, and it'll say to dear da 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 at hotmail.com or doc uk whatever okay or outlook or gmail it really says your name on there and it just says hello congratulations yay i've won something what have i won my voucher so it's it's give, it's telling me i've won something yes oh and this is another sort of uh, scheme they use okay uh and it says click here you click there it takes you into into a website where you put your details in there you've got your details thank you very much It'll probably ask you for your Amazon login, and then they've got all your details and access to your bank account, etc., etc. Okay, so there you go. The next one is a DPD delivery. So now we're coming up to Christmas. We're going to be getting a lot of deliveries coming to our houses, and so the scammers are taking advantage of that, and they're going to, going to send you uh, emails or texts saying they're from a delivery company. And this is the one I almost clicked to schedule a new delivery here. <laughs> what am I thinking? And again, it's got DBD delivery, but look at this email. It's a hotmail.com account. That's not going to be from DBD. It would say something, something here, and it would say dbd.co.uk or something like that on there. It wouldn't have a hotmail, a Gmail, an Outlook, um, or sky.com on there. It would have their own specific company email address so as soon as you see that type of email address you know it's fake and again not my name just says dear client it doesn't say my name at all uh, got to schedule a new delivery you put in your details they got your details bam they got you another one is a, a Netflix one so Netflix time to say goodbye Ooh, time to say goodbye what have I done update payment so <laughs> you just put 
you click that put in your credit card or debit card details bam they got them thank you very much okay so don't fall for this one and again look at the email address here nonsense uh, uh, it does say no reply at netflix.com here but that's the actual email address and uh, you know so if you if you get an email like this and you're not sure don't log on or click any links in these emails go to the website itself log in and then check for yourself don't click any links on the emails and the last one we got I got for you is a PayPal and again this is obvious again not my name is not there look at the email address here that's just complete nonsense I mean look at the subject it's just all over the place it's in all different languages uh, but they do put service at intlimited.com here but that's the actual email address not that they've renamed the email and then you click the link authenticate now put all your details in and then they got your details bam another issue you may have if you're viewing your emails on your mobile phone so I'm gonna log in I'm gonna just go into my outlook here and I've already got something loaded up and as you can see it's not showing the actual email it's only showing no reply at netflix.com so you could be fooled by this thinking it's off the actual company but what you have to do is just click on this here and it'll open up the actual email what they've done they've actually renamed their email address so it looks like this on your phone might not be all phones but definitely on my phone this is what happens and it may happen on yours so something to look out for so what I do I just put, go like that click on this here and there's the actual email there you know it's a, a hotmail.com here which is nonsense it's nothing to do with it the best advice I could give if you get an email or a text it doesn't matter if you think it's genuine or not even if it is a genuine uh, email or text do not click on any of the links ever make that a rule now that you will never click on a link again when you get an email all you have to do if you're not sure go to the actual website of the company log in there and check your account from there never click on a link I've made that a rule for myself even though I get genuine emails from PayPal and Amazon I never click on the link I go to my account I log in and check from there and if you receive a call from anybody saying that your account is being hacked and they need to log on to your account thank them for their call hang up that phone go to your web browser look up the genuine number for that company and call them directly don't let the person who's called you redirect your call because what they tend to do is they call you hello I'm from so-and-so company you've been hacked I'm going to re uh, re redirect you to our fraud department and then they pretend to redirect you to the fraud department by putting some fake noises on there they're just pre-recorded noises they're not do they're still on the phone and they just hand the phone over to their colleague next to them or maybe even them themselves they're still on the phone they haven't redirected you anyway you're literally on the talking to the same person and then they they go through the scam so hang up the phone get off it go to your web browser look up the genuine number customer service number for the company or the provider that, that they say they are call them and ask them is there any is there a problem with my account and 99.9% .9 of the time there isn't it's just a scammer and lastly please look into getting two-factor authentication it's very important that you, you do this so basically what it is I got to log into my Amazon account and then what 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 will happen is I put in my username and password then Amazon will say we're gonna send a message to your phone uh, and you've then got to type that code in as an extra precaution to get into your account I do the same for my Facebook my bank account so if it's not already set up make sure you set up two-factor authenticate authentication <laughs> can't even say it it's too long a word what's going on okay really important though set that up it, it, it so it just adds that extra layer of protection to your account I hope that's helped stay safe this Christmas don't forget to subscribe to the channel go on hit that subscribe and give this video a nice like it really helps the traction of the video I'd really appreciate it thank you see you soon Merry Christmas